Hey, Mike Healy here, and I am so excited to share this one with you. I've been working on it for a while, put a PowerPoint together for you, but this is how to build a network marketing business quickly. Uh, Cause I've done it, I've done it multiple times, I've done it with multiple companies, and it's not as hard as a lot of people are making it out to be. Um, now there's some skills that I'm about to go through and teach you. I'm gonna show you a few things, but I'm gonna show you some shortcuts, I'm gonna show you some tricks, some hacks, uh, on how you can get uh, you know some exposure faster, get leads faster, and so on. Shouldn't take too long because I got a nice uh, you know streamlined PowerPoint. I'm gonna get straight to it. Uh, so let me just pull my PowerPoint up here real quick, and uh, we should be good to go. And all right, so how to build an MLM business quickly now. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna show you the fastest way to build your network marketing business without going broke or losing friends. Without going broke or losing friends. You think that would help you? <laughs> uh, and if you stick around for the end of this, I'm gonna give you some free stuff. I got some gifts at the end to help you get started and go faster, okay? So in case you don't know who I am, I've been in uh, network marketing uh, for over 24 years. I got an update, I think it's almost 26 now. Uh, I've made seven figures multiple times. Uh, been in internet marketing for about 11 years. Uh, I know how to do ads, all that kind of stuff. But this is not about you spending money. This is not about you spending money on online right here. Um, but I know these uh, these uh, techniques. Now I've won tons of prizes, and the reason I'm showing you all this is because I want to build a little rapport, a little bit of credibility to show you that I do know what I'm talking about. I've been on the cover of company magazines, been able to travel the world, do all kinds of things, uh, speak in front of uh, probably a few hundred thousand people over the over my career. Um, you know, largest crowd I ever spoke in front of was about uh, almost eleven thousand. I've been the top money earner, or no, I'm sorry, top recruiter in pretty much every company I've joined. I usually out recruit everybody by a long shot. Um, and it's not an accident. Okay. It's not an accident. It's very, uh, it's very, uh, um, focused what I do, how I do it and so on. Okay. So let me ask you this quick question. Oop, jump too far. One, very good. Would you rather make money in your networking business or MLM fast or slow? Just ask it. Okay. I'm assuming you would say fast. All right. So let me show you how to compress time. If you follow my strategies here, I'm going to show you how to compress time. All right. Now, I again, want to prove this to you. So my first personal case study, I'm going to show you this is going to be quick. In 24 months. So this is, you know, two year period. I personally enrolled 105 people, which is a lot more than a lot of people have ever done. Now, uh, kind of a backstory is in my first network marketing company I joined in 1997 or 1994, something like that, I recruited in four years, 40 people. It took me four years. And my next company I was in, I was in for four years and I, I sponsored 48. Okay, so, so in eight years, I only sponsored 80 personals. <laughs> okay, but here, this, this, is, this, this case study number one is from probably eight or nine years ago where I started understanding some new school technologies that were allowing me to use the old school techniques and strategies to crush this, okay? So in 24 months, I personally enrolled 105 people and 43 of those people I'd never even talked with until they had already enrolled. You think that would be more exciting for you? Now, next company I joined, so case study number two, in seven months, a person enrolled 177 people and 151 of those I had never even talked to until they'd already joined. Okay, my inbox a lot of times looks just like this, okay, where they get the congratulations, you've got to sign up and so on, and they come in almost daily. My case study number three, in only 46 days, I personally enrolled 110, 62 of which I never even talked to until they'd already enjoyed or enrolled. And then my inbox obviously looking like this, day you know day after day after day you can see just boom crushing it and then this company i joined i did put over 350 personals in but in 90 days my first first 90 days a person enrolled 160 people 152 of those i had never even talked to until after they had joined okay um again inbox loaded with these things so you think that would be exciting all right so let me slow down let's get to the point and here's where you need to start taking notes slow this down uh maybe i'll make this as a pdf so you're you can take a look at it and so on here's the deal in networking it's always been about this whoever tells the story the most wins that's a fact okay Whoever gives the most presentations will always, uh, you know, uh, make more money. It just, it's just the way it is. The law of large numbers um, is just the way it is. And I, and I remember hearing Jim Rohn talk about this years ago. He said that uh, I make up a numbers what I lack in skill. And to me, I was like, that's all me. 
I have no business background. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm going to go after this stuff. I'm going to learn it. Okay. Think about this for a second. What if, and I'm not talking, here's the thing okay? in this page. And I don't want you to get blown away by these numbers. I'm about to show you is it's all about people seeing presentations what the secret I'm about to show you is, it's not about you always giving that presentation um, where you take an hour, or you take your 20 minutes to do it. You're not traveling or whatever. This is a completely different strategy and I hope you see where I'm going here. But what if you could get 10 presentations per day in front of people? So 10 people a day saw a presentation of your opportunity or they heard about your business. And you did that five days a week. That would be 50 presentations per week. Okay. Now, again, the law of large numbers, um, almost if you have anything that remotely is decent with 50 presentations a week, you're going to put people in 50 presentations per week times 52 weeks. That's actually 2,600 presentations uh, in a year. And if at if you had uh, 20, if you had 2,600 presentations and you only had a 2% close, you would have enrolled 52 new reps. Now the average rep commission in most companies based on products, services, and stuff that I've seen is right around $90, depending on what company you're a part of. But if you had 52 new reps and an average fast start commission of $90, that's $4,600 just in fast starts. Now I will tell you this, I have never been in a business or a company that I've ever enrolled that many personals that it didn't create a residual income. And in most cases, it was usually pushing upwards of the six figure mark because I was plugging those people into it. I was teaching them the same strategies I was using and so on. Okay. So this is something that you can get going. Now, here's the deal. What if this was automated? All right. So let's talk about that. We're going to go. So now I'm going to show you the strategy that I think anybody can use. Okay. Uh, it's all automated. Now, in the old school world of networking, we understand that we're going to go out there. We're going to talk to a few people. We hope that we talk to enough and then they get there. You know, we get some people in and we get their three. Now, I'm not ever discounting uh, personally calling people, friends and family. I always give them the chance to look. I always have I have the easy ways that I've done that. You can look up the trainings. I'll show you those at the end. Um, old school technique is this is you you want to go out and you give a couple presentations. In my opinion or my my case, I didn't have the patience to wait around for a lot of these people to germinate. Okay. And I've said this on a lot of trainings, if you ever follow my stuff, but here's why it is the first training I ever went to. It was the golden, you know, the diamond bullet that hit me in the head that said, that's the secret. And this guy said, you can't control how many tomatoes a tomato plant produces. You can only control how many tomato plants you plant. All that means in layman's terms and MLM terms is that I realized that if I could become a really good recruiter, I would be able to recruit enough people personally to make enough extra money that it was worth my while and kept my attention, regardless if they duplicated or not. But at the same time, I understand that if I worked the numbers hard enough, that I would always find out of the personals that I put in, the five, the 10, the 20, depending on how many personals I put in, that said, this is for me, I'm going after this, I see what you see, that went out and rocked it and became the tomato plants that crushed it. Um, it's the same thing if you want, uh, if you want, if you got, if you're a farmer and you got milk cows, I've done a story, I've done analogy stories on this, is if you want more milk, you gotta get more cows. Okay, it's not about trying to take a cow that maybe is producing one gallon of milk a day and trying to force them into producing 10 gallons. What I typically do is go find another a cow and another cow and another cow and not to, you know, I'm not trying to put down anybody as cows, but you understand the principle. It's all I need you to do is understand the principle. Now, let's shift gears. So it is no longer a, net, a blockbuster world. It is a Netflix world, okay? New technologies, new things. The old ways did work and they always will work, but there are faster ways to do this. So looking at this graph, I want you to look at thinking about this is I'm going to show you real quick a, one of the strategies, just one of the fastest ways that I use to leverage myself and look like I'm everywhere when I'm not. OK, because I'm I'm at home having fun because networking is supposed to be about freedom, right? I leverage Google, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and other social platforms to give presentations on my behalf to the people that I want to see it. 
Okay, let's talk about that. Getting Think about how much better your business would grow if you were getting the right message in front of the right people at the right time, all right? So what I've done is one of my master strategies here is I make, and this is what I'm suggesting that you do, is you make, and I'm gonna give you the dialed in points here in a second, I think on the next slide or two, is I make content that people look for. Remember, you ever heard the term attraction marketing? Attraction marketing is stupid if you think you can just think it and they're gonna show up. It's not how it works. What I learned to do is put crumbs out there. And I've done a lot of content marketing videos and trainings. You should look those up and I'm gonna continue to do them. But what I do is I make pieces of content that are relevant to the target market I'm trying to go after. And then I use what we would, then what I do is I take that one piece and I put it on multiple platforms so that it's pushing itself out there and more eyeballs are taking a look at my business. Okay, so I'm actually giving multiple presentations daily without being around. Okay, you think about this. Like I remember I had to, I had to laugh. My wife and I had, a, uh, uh, I, the last company I was in, the company made a post about this person who had a home, uh, had a hotel meeting and they were so proud of him that he had 75 people in the room. So 75 people got to see a presentation. That's awesome, nothing wrong with that, right? Probably half of the room was guests. When I put out a presentation video that same week, my video, because of what I'm about to show you, had over 1,100 people watch it in the first four days. First four days, <laughs> okay? 1,100 presentations given. So think about this. Think about the mentality of this blockbuster versus Netflix. All right. So what up? What do I do? Is I okay? Here's where it is. Every this page right here, this this graph I'm showing you, is the search area on YouTube because YouTube is a search platform, same as Google. Okay. What I do is I make relevant content that people are looking for. I'm, I'm doing this video based on a keyword phrase, believe it or not. How to build a network marketing business is what I typed in, and you'll notice there's some extra things. And the top one right there was quickly. Okay, so I put that together. But what I'm going to tell you is this. What I typically do is when I join a network marketing company, when the first the first thing I do is I go straight to YouTube. I type in the name of the company. And then I look to see what these extra keyword phrases are, okay? And they will post basically in the order of importance and um, activity and, and searches, okay? So let me slow down for a second. So as an example, if I typed in my, my, the company name I was about to go after, the next thing that I would see would be the words. So the, I type in the company, and then the next word might say product review. Or the one below that might say, comp you know, the name of the company, uh, compensation plan. Take a wild guess what kind of content I'm about to make. Keyword specific content on YouTube that allows me to now let YouTube's search algorithms do the heavy lifting for me. Are you getting this? Okay. And I have a whole course on this. You can get the details and so on but i wanted to put this together because we're talking about doing it quickly now uh the other thing i look for besides just youtube is on like if i'm gonna make posts on google or i'm sorry yeah on google or i'm making a blog i'm sorry a podcast or a blog post you can go to answerthepublic.com it's really cool you type in the thing and it's uh it's it'll pop up some stuff too but watch this okay so let's say i wanted to target uh, and I'm not going to use a company specific thing. I wanted to be generic in this video, but I'm going to say I go to YouTube. I typed in MLM leads. Okay. So I know that that's a high search term MLM leads. So what I want to do now is I make a video on how to generate some MLM leads. What I'm now going to do is this is I have to properly keyword it so that YouTube knows I know what I'm doing and begins to push it out follow me on this slide okay what's gonna happen is the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name the video the file name itself as the exact keyword that's on in, in here okay so I, I would name it like leads training webinar invite okay that's the name of the uh, of, of what I'm doing okay the next thing is the keyword title so you have the, the title 
is also the keyword. Now it doesn't have to necessarily be specific, but you can put like how to generate MLM leads, how to do such and such, okay? It'll show you those things. The next thing is I always put it in the description. I put that, that keyword phrase at the head of the description, explaining what it is. The next thing is on the custom thumbnail. Uh, I usually have it in the picture itself, but most importantly, I save the image that I created, whether it's on Canva or something else. Um, I save that file, the image file, as the name of that. Okay, so now I got four places this keyword's at. The other thing is I add Google tags. Tags are the keywords down in the bottom. I also look for relevant keywords. So if I was to look for the name of my company and the pro product review, I'd see what the next one would be. And I would type that out, push con you know, push enter, and then boom, it would, it would be there. And I would have five, six, seven of the keywords that are targeting that company. Because I also want this to go after those other keywords later on. So now they're all hitting my, my videos. And then the last thing, is a call to action link. I always put a call to action link in the underneath there. Uh, actually, I forgot to put it in there, but uh, it'll have the link to my uh, business. So right here, if I was to put this whole video together based on uh, limited leads and MLM leads right in the call to action below the MLM leads there, number six, I would have a link that would say, check out my free online course or watch the webinar or something like that. Typically with that, and people know nowadays how to go into the description box and check that out, okay? So what I've done is I've created a piece of content and I let the algorithms push it for me to do everything I need. And now YouTube is allowing people that have typed these things in to get, you know, to, to find it, it's populating. If they're looking at other things, and again, if all this is done correctly, the more you put the keywords and everything in there, YouTube will reward you for that. All right, that was it. I just wanted to tell you that because that's, that's one of my biggest tips. Now I do have, I promised you I would have some free stuff for you. And if you go to my website, MikeHealyTraining.com, it's totally been revamped and everything like that. I got all kinds of great stuff on there and continue to add it. I'm giving away probably my largest network marketing training course ever. I typically charge almost about 500 bucks for that thing but I'm giving it to you away for free. All you gotta do is go to MikeHealyTraining.com. You'll see there, click on get your free course. And I've got a lot more detail even on what I just covered, all kinds of strategies, all kinds of tips on to doing it, okay? Because I wanna see you win with this thing uh, because it is, uh, it's definitely the way to go if you're out there working this as a business, okay? If you wanna treat this like a hobby, have at it, do it periodically, whatever, once or twice a month, post something and you'll be uh, sadly, sad, sadly not making the money you desired or that you saw on the dry erase board, but anyhow. So do me a favor, share this, like it, post it, comment on it, ask me questions, whatever. I'd love to get more questions because I always like to answer things, train people and so on. But I'm telling you, if you follow that strategy, you're gonna start to see some really good traction. And then again, I take that same type of strategy on other platforms. So I take my videos and I put them on Facebook and put them on you know, TikTok like pieces of them and so on and drive everything kind of that area. So I'm allowing uh, the systems and the tools out there, the technologies to amplify the message. That's really what it comes down to. So hopefully you got a lot out of this. Make sure you uh, go to my Keely training, subscribe to my podcast, subscribe to my channels, like it, hit it up, share it, whatever you got there. So thanks again and I'll see you at the top.